One picture can tell a story of an era and light up an event that has once significantly affected the wheels of history and now sunk into oblivion. The Flashback, a project that carefully guides us through the past like a beacon. Nineteen forty-three. Ten years ago, Clara Zetkin, women's rights activist, a person who introduced the idea of celebrating International Women's Day, has passed away. The Second World War is still raging, and within a new wave of mobilization, nearly one hundred and fifty thousand women are being called up into the Workers' and Peasants' Red Army. Meanwhile, Soviet females have to perform rear works for up to sixteen hours daily, providing the front with everything soldiers needed. At the same time, other representatives representatives of the fair sex are performing another important duty, raising the morale of the people. Among these people was Kulyash Baisitova. Over July of 1942 alone, people's artist Kulyash Baisitova performed at 50 concerts in the Northwestern Front. Also, there were regular night concerts and performances at the Abai Kazakh State Academic Theater of Opera and Ballet, where she worked, and all the raised money was utilized for the needs of the front. Perhaps this shot was taken during one of those so-called night performances. On the stage, one can see some background actresses and the dazzling Kulash Baisitova, who performed the main female part in the Kuzhibiak opera. In this picture, literally everything is remarkable. The fact that Kuzhibiak was the first Kazakh opera in history, and the fact that costumes were excessively lavish and luxurious, according to ethnographers. The Kazakhs have never worn costumes like these in their everyday lives, but the latter is easily explained. The performance was image building. It was planned to be presented at the first decade of Kazakh art and literature in Moscow, and it was supposed to promote Kazakh opera art throughout the entire Soviet Union. Therefore, the costume designers did their best to impress the audience with their brilliant and unique appearance of the Kazakhs. And finally, Kulyash Baisitova herself, the main person in this photograph, a woman whose name was written in the history of Kazakhstan, someone who has achieved phenomenal success in the conditions of patriarchal hegemony in Kazakh art of that period. By the time this picture was taken, seven years have passed since she won the title of People's Artist of the USSR, and she achieved this title when she was only 24. She performed leading parties in the productions of the Abai Opera House. For the first time in the history of the Kazakh opera, she took on the roles of Butterfly from Cho Cho San, Tatiana from Eugene Onegin, Tamara from Demon, and many others. But it was Kuzhibiak Opera that became a breakthrough project for Kulyash Baisitova, the project that introduced her talent to the entire world.